Hey, this is Nora Medina in the open non-medical category. I just finished week six with my lovely, amazing, beautiful client. Um, she was pretty healed up from the needling last week, which was kind of, um, it, it's such a good thing because that means her wound healing response is up there, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I swear having the LED lights to help with that inflammation below the skin and to help really kickstart that wound healing process really does make all the difference. So she was well enough healed that I felt the okay to go ahead and needle her again. And um, we got a really, the blood flow this time was absolutely wonderful. It was a lot of things that I was really happy to see. I feel like I'm seeing more of a blood flow because through the pictures and definitely in person, I see her scarring begin to get better and better. We're seeing better color. Um, so I really feel like her wound healing response is really helping. I did notice last week as I was needling her, she was feeling it more. And the first time I needled her, she didn't feel it at all. And now all of a sudden she's feeling it way more. Um, which I think is really, really good. That means underneath and kind of deep down in there, we're seeing this reconstruction happen, which I think is really awesome. And I think because the reconstruction is happening in that new skin and that those cells are being stimulated, I think underneath there, we're beginning to get a really great, the wound healing consistently gets better. And I think as that's consistently getting better, we definitely see it up in the epidermis where we're able to see more blood flow. Today I did needle her with some stem cells in hopes to continue that reconstructive process below the skin. Um, and then of course she's going home every day and doing her lights for 30 minutes, which I feel like is really, really helping. Um, I do notice she is um, along because this we are healing from underneath and up. Um, I can tell her melanocytes are a little bit more active, so I don't want to say we're seeing a discoloration, but we can definitely see where I got in there and worked because I feel like her melanin's getting a little bit more active. So I think I'm just seeing a lot of really good things. Um, you know, when we do look at the anatomy of a scar, you know what I mean? I do believe that when I've looked at it and I've really studied scarring, I really do believe that down below there's some really healthy cells. Um, and what I want to continue to do is continue to stimulate all of that underneath in hopes that we can push the scar to become a lot more flatter, a lot more even, um, and to not pull the skin as tightly. So I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to week seven and seeing what her progress looks like next week. So y'all have a great day. Bye.